week, Michelle here. I wanted to give you an update on the work that we've been doing in our front garden since January 2020. Our plan for this area is to have a cottage garden on the left with a cottager on the right. As you can see it's very much in construction mode at the moment but I'm going to be adding in some footage from 2020 so you can see how much it has changed so far. This was an overgrown area that had a multitude of lilac stumps in. James dug them out by hand and we totally renovated it so now we have a nice area to store our weeds in. The front was just grass fence to fence and the only thing we had done up to this point was put in a gate and fence, plant a honeysuckle by the front door and put up a trellis. We are now planning to change the path so it goes down the garden in an arc. I roughly marked it out at the weekend. Excuse the wobbly lines, I didn't get it very straight. I'm participating in mo No Mow May, just cutting the grass on the path so it will be interesting to see what wildflowers come up as there isn't a lot of grass. Last year we made a tiny wildlife pond out of an old barbecue. I have a video on my channel of how I made it. It's been very popular with the birds. This shumac tree popped up in the lawn so I left it to grow and it is now two years old. I also added this cherry tree in February but the growing season seems to be really late this year because of the very cold April so the leaf buds are only just starting to open. I've added a few perennials to this border but I'm not weeding it at the moment as I've put down a lot of wildflower seeds and just want to leave it to do its own thing this year. Last year I started to add a lavender hedge to the left side of the new path and I added a few more last weekend. This is going to be an ongoing project as we buy lavender plants every now and then to put in. This is a David Austin Charles Darwin shrub rose. It has really lovely creamy yellow roses. And the Globemaster Alliums are almost out in full bloom. They really stand out against the white of the house. This is also a, sh a shrub rose by David Austin and it's called Roldar and it has lovely lemony sherbet smelling roses. This bay tree was from a client's garden. We were removing it to throw it out so we decided to give it a second chance. As you can see the pottager area it was very different last year. We've added three dwarf fruit trees, a plum, pear and an apple. In this pot are some lavender plugs which I'm growing on to put into the hedge. I'm growing all my potatoes, beans and peas and cut and come again lettuce in pots this year. The 
this is a black one. This bed is for brassicas, um, but I'm going to need to put a new bed in next to it as I'm already running out of room. This is a red cone. So these two beds have onions and uh, the other bed has carrots and then the larger bed has cucumbers and courgettes. I've also put beetroot and sweet in there. These are all pots of herbs. And our strawberry plants are in both hanging baskets. They seem to be coming back again this year. This was the potager last August. It was very full and we had a lot of harvest considering everything was started quite late. This box was also from the same garden as the bay tree and it seems to have taken the move really well. There's new buds growing on it, so I'll leave it to grow before I give it a trim. I have lots of seeds started in the cold frame. It's a mixture of flowers and veg, and some are ready to be pricked out and potted on. Once the new path's in, we're going to be removing this path and extending the potager over to the edge of the new path. And this pile of wood is sitting ready to go through the chipper so we can make some bark mulch. This is our composting area. Um, both bins are now full and we made the large bin out of pallets last year and it's composted down well. But now I'm having to put cuttings into these bags as I've run out of room. So our next project is to get this larger bin emptied and sifted out and then we can start a new compost bin. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to keep up to date with our projects and also see some of our work that we do as professional gardeners in other gardens around the Cotswolds.